Should I use my umbrella? I recently had a huge urge to play uh, just a lot of Terraria. So I opened up my old file that I finished Master Mode on and I was just coming up with ideas for things to do. And eventually I hit this point where I thought these would make for good videos. Well, maybe I shouldn't say good. Interesting? Eh. They would make for videos. So now I have these ideas and I'm going to start with my first idea and just see where this takes me. I'm doing this very, what's the term? Off the cuff, That's I got it. With that said, here are the rules for today's challenge. Number one, the only weapons I can use are things that aren't weapons in real life. Rule two is even though yo-yos are toys, it would be a little obvious if I just use yo-yos for the whole playthrough. So yo-yos are not allowed. Number three, if the game makes the distinction itself that the item is weaponized, I can't use it. I am not allowed to use any explosives except for dynamite. Grenades and bombs, their primary use was for combat. Dynamite was invented to be used in mining and breaking of rocks. That is based on the knowledge of a quick Google search do not quote me on that. With that said, because I don't want to just be using dynamite on every single boss if I can't find a good weapon, I will only use it if it is a last ditch effort and I have no other cards to play in a situation. First order of business. Destroy the sword, welcome to hell, here we go. And then you put the ax on top of it to, to lock it in. My first objective was to try to go to either side of the world and get a breathing reed from an underwater chest. By traveling to either side of the world, I would eventually stumble into a snow biome and be able to grab some snowballs for a ranged weapon. Oh, we got that perp nasty. We got that stinky, brinky, purple stinky. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. All right. Oh, wait a minute. There's a pyramid here. Torches are important. I cannot see. Stop, 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 stop. Yo, a little money. Some ropes. Nice. And... Yo, herb bag's pretty tight. And drip. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me. Never turn down a big old tree. <gasps> Yo, it's damaged, but we got something. That's, I mean, like it sucks that it's our first weapon and it's coming in with a bad trait, but yo, we got something. Oh, Toidle. I didn't know there were turtles. Did I have 800 hours in this game? How did I not know about the turtles? I know about the frogs. I still love you, frog. Close the umbrella on the bat's head and crush it. No, please. No, you... Oh, I hate him. Run, 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 run like a bee. Oh, okay, he's, he's kind of slow. I think we're good. This is not ideal. Why did I change it? What am I... I landed in the water. I completely... Forgot, like, hey, maybe don't switch off of the... I have no clue what's happening. I'm just putting ropes down. <laughs> oh, at this point I thought maybe I'm forcing it a little bit too hard. I would have a much better chance of getting anywhere if I actually had even, you know, torches. So I decided to either scour the surface and find a cave entrance or do the classic Terraria thing, dig a elevator, and see if we end up somewhere good. We have reached an opening. Please, it looks very small. <sighs> That's fine, you know. Pots are, pots are cool. But I, I believe this is what the kids call copium. No, please. No, please. Stop. It's taunting me. Say it to my face, coward. Where is it? Freaking idiot. Oh, baby. Okay, this could be a great boon. You know what? I hate it. Sorry, worm. 
Can't even kill a worm in one hit. <laughs> what, am, what am I? What am I doing? Okay, second gold chest. Let's. I mean, just mobility would be excellent right now. Or a weapon I'm not allowed to use. That's also very chill. All right, digging down is proving to be a colossal pain. So I'm gonna wait until later to dig. And when it's morning, I'm going to try to brute force my way through the corruption and hopefully find a cave. I am so tired of vultures, dude. Oh my God, I hate them. Leave me alone. Stop following me. Stop. Yo, the bird is actually the unsung, unsung hero. Unsung, un, un, stop. The bird was taken up with a, a spawn, but it didn't matter because the, the vulture is the worst enemy in the game. What is your problem with me? I was gonna use plant forms but I think that is not a good idea because they can go through the platforms and I don't like that. <laughs> the plan is to weep openly. I just wanted a normal ass cave. That's all. I just wanted a normal Terraria starter cave. That's all I needed. But no. Oh, now we're doing this. This freaking umbrella can't even attack upwards. You just keep <laughs> blocking them off progressively. You gotta place a block between ba- How did you- How? 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 I guess he was a quite a small fellow. Back to the mines we go. I'm guessing with the string of luck I've had so far that this is gonna be a flare gun. So... You know, get excited for that uh, comedic moment coming up right now. <laughs> it's warding. That's, you know what? Hey, we, we got to appreciate those small victories. Could it have been better? Absolutely, it could have. But hey, it could have been a flare gun. <gasps> a heart. Finally. A, a real, I think we might be in a real cave. Oh, this is blessed. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and a mine cart? Oh my, and another heart? Oh, it's happening. Greatness comes to those who suffer just a whole lot. Oh my God, yo, but maybe, you know, maybe things aren't so bad after all, you know? Just a little bit of patience, a little bit of elbow grease, and you get the things you need. That's not very good. You absolute idiot. Why is it so powerful? Yo, four gravitation potions. What can we do with those? I mean, obviously we can go to floating islands, but what is on a floating island that would be great to have right now? Horseshoe is pretty dope and a balloon is pretty nice. Star Fury is useless right now. There might be like bars and stuff in the chest. I think it's definitely worth going. We could also float over the corruption. I'm just, I'm desperately in need of a ranged weapon. So I need to get snowballs, like real bad. The only option I have for a ranged weapon is snowballs. So I really need to go to an ice biome. Like it's not gonna be great. I mean, it's snowballs, but like, I need something, dude. Oh, hell yeah, we already found one. Okay, you gotta jump to juke him. You gotta jump and then he'll jump and then, ow, God. Okay, well, mining potions and bombs are kind of okay. Come on, baby. You are shitting me. I mean, how dare you? Pardon me. What the hell? Stop. I... Oh. 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 Agony. Suffering. Dismay. Torture. All right, we're having more of the same problems. We need armor that is better. 
and thus our mining adventures continue. Okay, we finally have finished the caving trip that didn't end in horrific disaster. First things first, a couple pieces of gold armor. We got a bunch of hearts. I am intentionally not using them because if you hit 200 health, then the goblin invasion and the Eye of Cthulhu can spawn naturally, and I'm not ready for that. One thing that kept cropping up is absolutely the fact that I need snowballs. I need a ranged weapon. So here's what we're gonna try. I got two tel I got three teleportation potions. We're just gonna take a hit and we're gonna see where we end up and explore the area to its fullest. Okay, I have just made an incredible discovery. I was consulting the Wikipedia and I have discovered a weapon of incredible, unfathomable power. Oh, so with this effect going, we should be able to craft a new uh, yes, a shovel. Two more teleportation potion. Let's do it. <gasps> Ice biome. This could be thick. Oh well, I mean, don't mind if I do. Uh, oh, we did it. We have some snowballs. Oh, that's so sick, man. Dude, I'm I'm like genuinely like jazz. I'm so excited. I got 999 snowballs. This bat's not gonna know where to hit him. He actually is gonna be horrifically aware of what's hitting him because they're coming at him in rapid succession, but he's not gonna be able to do a damn thing about it. Let's uh, pop this last TP potion. I keep bringing me down here. Now that I finally have found a ranged and a pretty decent melee weapon, it was time to try to fight my first boss, but not before we get a full set of gold armor, build a boss arena, and get ourselves to maximum HP. I didn't even know this existed. That's awesome. Oh, there's a whole little toad outfit in this. Oh, that's sick, man. I didn't even know that existed. I've done a little bit of studying and I've discovered a new weapon that I am allowed to use. Abigail's Flower is an item that has a chance to spawn on a tombstone. It's a pretty decent summon for right now, and it's just a flower, so I figure it's all right to use. I feel like I gotta rationalize every time I bring in a new weapon to use, but I think, I think you get it. I guess I'm ready to try my first attempt. If this goes horribly wrong, which is kind of likely, I do have a few backup plans, a few ideas to try, and things to improve. Without further ado, let's -a do it. I'm screwed. They are doing ones and twos. Oh no. Oh, I don't know, man. That is a lot less damage than I expected. I think it's safe to say, uh, not very deep into the fight. I think, think, think this one uh, ain't happening. Unless that star hits him. I don't think this one's happening. Um, <laughs> but, but it's okay. We have a many, like I said, we got options. Well, I mean, I knew I wasn't very strong, but this is, uh, this is unacceptable. When I started this challenge, my assumption was, as long as I get accessories with boarding, even the worst items might be manageable. But I'm think I'm almost thinking the opposite. I think that'll change as we go into hard mode because things do so much damage. But I think right now, the biggest advantage I could have is for these to crit more often or just hit more than a two. Oh, he's, ta he's taking more damage now. Oh, you fool. You never should have opened the protruding ball to me, you dumb shit. Okay, bye. <laughs> like I said during the fight, 
damage was easily the biggest issue. Since my options for weaponry are extremely limited, the only way I can do more damage right now is by getting a Goblin Tinkerer and getting prefixes that will either increase my damage or increase my crit chance. Wait, is that it? Oh, that might be it. Please? Yes! Oh, that's huge! Oh man, I was not planning around this, but this is pretty massive. Well, maybe any any increase in DPS is going to be helpful at this point. Before the Goblin Army too, which will make it significantly easier because I think the Goblin Army might be a bit of a struggle. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's pretty good. The issue I'm already seeing is the fact that the uh the eye moves a lot and it needs to stop to attack. Well, I guess the uh, the Eye of Cthulhu had other plans in mind. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna be trying again? I mean, I may as well if I'm getting a free spawn. I really don't think the ghost is enough to make the difference, but hey, I'll give it a, I'll give it an earnest attempt. The Eye of Cthulhu's defense is so high. She only does one damage. Yo, but she's doing great crowd control on the eyes. Hey man, you gotta take the- Oh, that would have been a massive hit if that star chunked him. It, oh my god, it misses by like a centimeter every time. Dude, these stars are such teases. It's actually unbelievable. It, I mean, that's just comedy. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, he's doing the- He's doing the- uh, 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 uh. That means, not, I mean, he didn't do that last time. That means we're making progress. I mean, I wasn't gonna win anyway, but significantly better attempt. Oh yeah. All right, cool. We got the angler now. This is gonna be helpful. I think doing fishing quests will be a good way to make money. Wow, there isn't even a chest over here. Can you imagine if I struggled all the way through this, got here? and didn't find a chest. Oh, I just discovered something very important. Apparently you need to have destroyed a shadow orb for the goblin army to appear. So let's go do that quick. I have one bomb, so I need a very well-placed shadow orb. Whose bones are these? Welp, I've made a huge mistake. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I have returned with bombs. <laughs> uh, all right, we destroy the orb. Unfortunately, we're gonna get a gun, so we effectively got nothing for that, except now the goblin army has a chance to spawn. I was randomly reminded of the fact that fossil armor used to be considered like extremely good. I heard it was nerfed though for this patch, but I decided to give it a look and uh, it actually might be exactly what I'm looking for. It has the defensive stats of gold, but it increases the velocity, crit chance, and damage of throwing weapons. Which means that perhaps it'll make my snowballs relevant? Oh, here we go. A goblin army is approaching from the east. I do expect to get absolutely thrashed. All right, here we go. I feel like I'm gonna get... Oh yeah, that's... That's gonna be a real problem. I am notably outclassed. Big shout out to uh, Abigail's ghost doing all the work. Who would have thought the uh, Don't Starve Terraria crossover would have been such a massive boon to my very esoteric weird challenge. I am out of snowballs. <sighs> the day is almost over quick gardening, you know, I mean, the time is right. I have nothing else important going on right now. No, come on, man. <laughs> that was beyond not the time. I'm gonna go underground. I think if you're underground around like nine-ish, you'll just kind of leave. Oh Lord, oh, they're coming after me. Hey, a mirror, finally. You know what? Actually a good pickup and a gold. Okay, uh, by now we've, we've dodged the eye, so, um, Bam, back to damnation. Okay, never mind. I lied to you just now. I mean, you can just kill me. Wait, I have a gold. Ooh. 
put the money away. Put the money away. Put the money away. Okay, now you can let's, let's take as many goblins out with us as we can. Uh, we got we got zero. It's a, they do so much damage. The, the archers are Satan's favorite minions. I mean, holy shit, I despise their existence. There is a one in thirty chance after this that this can happen again. That is unacceptable. This cannot happen. Holy shit, we did it. Oh my lord. Oh, there he is. Oh man, I was kind of scared it was bugged or something. Hello, my good man. Welcome to the team. Give me a tinkerer's workshop. That is expensive. Ow, and some rocket boots. Getting the goblin tinkerer is a huge move, but... Before we can utilize them, we need trinkets that are actually worth reforging. They're not called trinkets, they're called accessories. The three most important accessories I want to have for the fight are a blue horseshoe balloon, which means we will need a horseshoe and a balloon. The mobility from that and a pair of specter boots is going to be integral. The third accessory I think is going to be extremely helpful is going to be the shark tooth necklace. The other few accessories, we'll just put whatever we get in there. Oh, fingers crossed for a third Star Fury, am I right, fellas? <laughs> what is that? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 since when is that an item? I mean, that is pretty incredible. I had no idea, like, at all that these existed. Oh, man, that's sick. Wow, very funny. <laughs> I got 41 gold. Let's see if luck do indeed be a lady. Huh, yeah, all right. I am hoping and praying that this sturdy fossil armor is a notable upgrade because, man, the snowballs are, they are irrelevant. I also am not sure how many I'd need. I've never done this. All right, well, I'm getting a ridiculous amount of them, so I think I'll be okay. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? Since when does that exist? Honestly surprised it took that long. 1230 fossils down. Only put the number on the screen to go. Hi, I recorded a few clips without my audio because I don't know how to make videos. On the less important side of things, you only miss me getting the fossil armor and getting not one, but two, which will be important. What are they called? What are they called? Bone shark, nope, shark tooth necklace. Says, fuck. Not recording the audio was a drop in the bucket compared to my next mistake, which was not recording the entire Eye of Cthulhu fight where I actually managed to win. I apologize, there was a large buildup to that uh, and I, I, I kind of ruined it. And by kinda, I mean completely and totally ruined it. The footage in the background is re-recorded. It is a different fight, uh, I'm doing it again, just to show that it is possible with what I had. Sorry, I'm, I won't, <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I just realized I somehow also didn't record my first Eater of Worlds attempt. I don't know what the hell happened, man, okay? Luckily, it was a complete wash. I got absolutely dumpstered, so you missed nothing. As opposed to the Eye of Cthulhu, I think tanking damage is going to be more important. The issue now is my house is full of NPCs and my goblin died, so I have no space for him. We're gonna start with building the house up making it more spacious so we can fit all the NPCs we can. Then we're going to reforge our accessories for a more defensive approach and take on the Eater of Worlds once more. We're not necessarily going to be trying to win, we're just going to be trying to get Shadow Scales, because then I can get a new pickaxe, go to Hell, and get Hellstone Armor.
I wouldn't say either of the mini goals I have, the house and getting all my accessories warding are really t done technically. I mean, my I only have guarding on my band of regeneration, but like we're mostly pretty tanky here. Also, the house isn't done, but that's a lot of work and it's not entirely relevant to this video. What is relevant to this video is getting some dang shadow scales from this worm. I got destroyed last time, like it was bad. So I'm really hoping to that this will make the difference. Cause if not, I, I don't know, man, we might be at a, a dynamite situation. Cause I have no moves after this. I'm taking one damage from these guys. Yo, I mean, the, okay. That's without potions either, so that feels good. I really would like to summon the boss, fellas. This playthrough has really made me appreciate banners. All right, summon the boss, take the potions. We need just six shadow scales. That still did a lot of damage. That's gonna be a problem. I have terrible news. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Dude, that did 49 damage? That's absurd. That is absurd. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Um, hmm. So the obvious problem is the lack of piercing damage. Like the single target situation is just not doing it. I don't want to call it quits and just use dynamite yet. But that was not even close to good. <laughs> so back to the drawing board. I'm about to do what's called a pro gamer move. Close out of Terraria. I'm going to switch my t computer's time. I know what you're thinking. What is this clown doing? It is now Christmas. Restarting and reopening Steam. GeForce Game Ready Drivers available. It really isn't a good time, GeForce Game Ready Drivers. Oh, did you see that? I got a candy cane instead of a heart. That means it worked. Now you're probably wondering, why did I switch my game to Christmas? It is <laughs> actually the best way for us to defeat the Eater of Worlds. There are two ways for it to be Christmas time in Terraria. Obviously it literally being Christmas time in real life. Or by defeating a frost moon, which is, um, believe it or not, not possible where I'm at in the game. So by switching my computer's time to Christmas, it'll allow me to kill enemies, get presents, and then open the presents and hopefully get star anise. Star anise in real life is a spice, I think. Maybe we kill enemies. We hopefully get presents. We open them, we get star anise, which are basically better shurikens, but they're not shurikens. They're a spice. You see how it all comes together? Christmas time, it, oh God. Also let it be known that having my computer set to the future is ruining uh, everything and I can't connect to any websites on my computer. So ideally I'd like to get this done ASAP. Oh yes, it works. I got a present. I mean, the egg, the egg not, not really what we're looking for. All right, well, the, I mean, that's, that's what we're doing now. We just got to farm up a bunch of presents. Um, hopefully it won't take too long because like I said, my computer is, it does not like that I teleported into the future. <laughs> Update, just hit 300 Eater of Souls kills. And I got 67 Star Anise. It's actually very rare. It might be one of the more rare drops. I want to aim for somewhere in the 300s. I want to be very safe so I don't have to keep switching my computer's time around. This is surprisingly rare. I just had a thousand Eater of Souls kills. I only have 112 of these things. I'm sitting on some presents, but still. Welcome to my epic unboxing video. Today we're gonna be opening 12 Terraria presents. I got 20 star anise, wow. Gonna have enough rotten chunks to feed a... Who eats rotten chunks? Uh, I'll eat them. You know what, to feed me. 
I'll eat them all. You think I won't eat them all? I'll eat them all. I'll eat every single goddamn one. By the way, if you're wondering why I chose Eaters of Souls to farm this, uh, it's just the most consistent spawn. I don't know if there's something better. I haven't really thought about it. I did not think it would take this long. But, uh, I'm committed now. 31 presents. Two monster meats. I didn't even know this item existed. Still have not got a shadow chest plate, which sucks. 1650 kills. Please give me some star anise. Please, I... You're joking. Okay, I got some. Dude, I just got star anise twice back to back. I don't even know mathematically what the chances are of that are, but it's low. Well, that was, um... About 2,100 Eaters of Souls. I'm gonna fix the time on my computer, and <laughs> we're gonna give this a go. We got all the warding accessories, except for one, ignore that. We got our fossil armor to maximize our range to potential. We got a sizable amount, don't touch me. We got a sizable amount of star anise. It's time to give it a go and see if all the grinding was worth it. All right. Ay, bad start, get away from me. We are hurting him, it's a Christmas miracle. We broke a part of him, huge. We got shadow scales, boys. I'm so hyped, we're doing it. Oh baby, I think we got it. I think it's a lock, dude. I mean, we're tearing them up. By the way, if you didn't know, the reason I was so worried about the Star Anise is because it isn't like Shurikens where it comes back. There is no chance with Star Anise that it'll return. It's just gone. And I almost use all of it. So, yeah, it, uh, I'm glad I committed a little hard to that grind. We have done it. Oh, that's. It feels incredible. We finally beat another boss. You mother... Okay, we have officially entered hell. I actually have been in here once. One of those teleportation potions earlier in the video brought me down, but I didn't really do anything significant here. I'm a little worried because I'm pretty weak, but I think if we just, you know, get in the lava and keep our nose to the grindstone and avoid the death sickles. Okay, maybe this will be terrible. It's pretty slow, but I mean, it's gonna be well worth it. I am moderately confident that that's enough. Okay, I'm not actually that confident, but I'm mostly just like kinda sure. Look, I just hope it's enough. Now that is not enough obsidian. That, that I can guarantee you. I forgot to get a hell forge. <sighs> Back into the mines I go. Oh, grow up, grow up! What? What, they just install that? I just dug that hole. Oh my, oh my god. Obsidian sandwich. Chest plate. Hound moot. The inventory's full. And legs. Beautiful. With another boss kill under our belt and a set of Hellstone armor, it was finally time to say goodbye to these snowballs. Defeating the Eater of World means that the Tavern Keep can now spawn in my world. And although we can't immediately make use out of anything he sells, we can make use out of something he drops. When the Tavern Keep dies, he has a chance to drop the Ale Tosser. Since it is not a guaranteed drop, I might have to wait a bit depending on how RNG fares. While I'm waiting for Tavern Keep respawns, I will be in the jungle looking for beehives and trying to get a bazaar. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not bashore. <laughs> uh. I was doing my fishing and I got a rockfish? Well, that's my wall, oops. I always have such a hard time discerning if things are usable. I think rockfish is okay. It's a fish. There's no implication that it's a weapon. I think that's okay. I don't know, man. I'm always so back and forth with this stuff, but I, th I think I'm gonna say rockfish is good. I had a realization that I should probably, before I get the tavern keep, have somewhere for him to go. 
And I'm going to need a specific home uh, for his potential repetitive murder. So I'm just going to build a, a nice quaint little square made out of stone that he can just, um, well, he could just die in. All right, welcome to the crib. This is, <clears throat> this is our advanced uh, murder box 1.0 with uh, this sleek, well-placed brick. The lava will not seep through and annihilate the furniture I need to have NPC spawn in here. All right, there you are, my fine unconscious friend. Hey, get out of here. I'm pretty sure if I just get off the screen, he should teleport away. Okay. <laughs> I just, here's the thing. I would really love it if he didn't do what he's doing. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that was enough. He teleported home. Perfect. Welcome to the team. It's so nice to have you. I hope this door prevents the lava from flowing. It does. Excellent. He didn't drop it. Hey man, you wanna you wanna get out of that chair for a sec? Oh, oh, it's bad. But you know what? We got it. I'll take it. I could reforge it easily. Well, there's the temple. If I ever get there, I just had like a flash forward of like everything I have to do before I get to the temple. And let me tell you, felt a horrifying jolt of fear go through my body. I mean, not like literally, but like, you, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's an intimidating prospect. Metal detector? Yo, 23 gold, holy. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll take it. Found an anklet of the wind while I was down there, which I believe means I can, yeah, make some lightning boots. And they're precise. My favorite trait. Oh, hey, a horseshoe. I still need to get a balloon, but that's, Pretty good pickup. And then another horseshoe, just to make it comedic. Just to make it so that one is not special. This game is funny. Finally, a damn beehive, man. I've explored so much jungle. This is the longest it's taken me to find one, like ever. Granted, I don't play on large worlds very often, so I guess you get what you get. Oh my god, finally. I was like... That was like 75 kills. Drop rate's 1 in 50. It's just, it wouldn't be so bad if everything in the jungle wasn't the most obnoxious. With that, I guess we're ready to try the bee. I mean, I need to go get some supplies. And I'm still a little scared, especially with the plethora of enemies that managed to spawn and so little time but screw it man let's just send it let's give it a go okay no hesitation i'm gonna try to get in there quick spawn it so no enemies can spawn there's already the freaking hornet in there just be quick St stop this is already incredibly a problem just go for it just just, just send it just send it ah! so we're actually taking like no damage and dealing like pretty good damage so that's exciting. I don't know what those big yellow chunkers are. I guess that's the master mode effect. Did you always shoot those? Well, oh, you're doing five damage. Uh, I think we got this one in the bag, actually. We're surprisingly strong, which I never expect to be. Apparently, I also drank a beer, which means my melee abilities are better. So I guess I'll just get in there and kind of thwack her. Oh yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, but she really does not do any damage to us. Wow, I... I mean, stop the boss music. I think it's a wrap. <laughs> yep, I can do this all day, brother. Don't oh, damn, just center. <gasps> Sparkling honey. Little bee. I love little bee. All right, can we get it on the first drop? We did, nice, we got a honeycomb. So now we don't have to kill Queen Bee a bunch of times, which is preferable. So now we take our shark tooth necklace and we combine it with the honeycomb and we get a stinger necklace. So we release bees when damaged. Oh, hello, witch doctor. And we get armor pen and we go get our other shark tooth necklace. 
which is somewhere. I have, I, it's somewhere. And so now we have 10 armor penetration, which is going to be so useful. Oh, I forgot that that was a thing that could happen. All right, well, I guess we're doing a warm-up boss before we attempt... Oh boy, okay. R really not... Really not a great time for this. Well, I guess I'm popping all my buffs. I, I guess we're full committing to this. Okay, there we go. King Slime is dead. Uh, I think I'm s still okay to fight this next boss. Okay, here we go. I am feeling moderately unconfident about this. We may have to pursue different routes, because this is going to be tough. That... Oh, that's tragic. That star would have been so clutch. I... Okay, both hands are dead. Maybe this won't be so bad. Now we just got to whittle him down. Uh, or I'm going to get whittled down. You know, whatever happens first. These stars are such teases. Why is this happening again? No, don't try to walk the dog. Don't try to walk the dog. That is a terrible idea. Yep, no, no, I, I threw the fight doing that. I'm gonna run out of ale, and then I'm gonna have to walk the dog. And I tell you what, not super in love with that strategy. God, wouldn't it be so, so funny if a star just, I don't know, did like 2,000 damage to this bone bitch? Ah, so, I mean, as long as I don't get comboed, it should be a lock. Uh... The problem is I have to not get comboed, and I'm going to have to start meleeing here in a second. The only upside is the Molten Armor is making my melees pretty hefty. The downside is I'm fucking doomed. Oh, I forgot that those are fast. Those are very fast. I did forget that the bees come out when I get hit. The bees could be clutch. I'm out of veil. Here we go. 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 No, 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 no. He has 300 health. Hey, Abigail's ghost, am I not killing zombies and maybe hitting the boss, please? Please! <laughs> What? We got him! Oh. oh! 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 My God! That was close. Gold back. Loot picked up. Possessed skull. Summons a small Skeletron. Ah! I think there's a really good weapon we can get here, actually. Bone Glove. Shoots crossbones at enemies. Oh, it's a... Wait a minute. Equipable? That's not what I thought this was. Let me... We'll see how this works. Shh. Oh, it just yeets bones when I swing. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, that makes any melee weapon a ra... Hold the fucking phone! We just cracked the code wide open. I'm gonna have to get rid of one of my shark tooth necklaces but like that is just an improvement over the ale tosser which i did not think would be coming so soon oh good my 2150th eater of soul is, uh, i can't believe how that fight ended and i also can't believe i didn't know this bone thing existed it's pretty incredible like, a testament to how incredible Terraria is that I have... I'm approaching 850 hours, I want to say, just off of recording this video series. And I'm still, like, discovering items and their their hidden value, and... It's pretty incredible. Wah! I can also use bones that I get in the dungeon. Which is gonna be pretty, pretty useful. Now, speaking of pretty useful, give me this. The witching table is gonna be so helpful. I need so many potions to do this properly. Oh, I got the bewitching table mixed up with the alchemy table. Oh, the bewitching table is the summoning one. Wait, you think I can summon two ghosts? 
Nope. Disappointing. Oh, mechanics here. Nice. Hello. Ah! Ooh, first gold key. Cobalt shield, please. Oh! 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 We got very fortunate in our first brief descent into the dungeon. The only thing we need from the dungeon now is a ton of bones. With the bones, we will be able to make necro armor, which is the best pre-hard mode range armor set we can get. Once we have a full set, I'll be setting my sights on the underground tundra to get flinx fur. The flinx fur will be used to create the deer thing, which will summon the deer clops. The deer clops has a 25% chance to drop the pumatic horn, which will be our best bet range weapon wise for taking on the wall of flesh and moving on to the second phase of the game. So it turns out saying I needed a ton of bones uh, was a bit of an accidental exaggeration because I'm already there and I have not been here very long. Though, I am gonna stay a little longer because I may as well get some in case I actually wanna have some to throw. We got Necro Armor. I'm hesitant on if I should equip it right away, but I'll keep it on me. I'm not super familiar with this next boss. I have killed it one time and that was on an end game character. So I just kinda turned it into goo. I really don't know what to expect here. Target spotted. I'm gonna crush its soft skull. Get the fuck back here! Get back here now! Did it actually despawn? Not cool, Mr. Flinks. Not cool at all. Oh. It just, it just dropped three. I didn't realize that was... Uh, okay, I guess I'm done. <laughs> um... I didn't realize that was a possibility. I guess I should have got more. I, I was just so flabber and so gasted. I'm thinking this. Oh, 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 oh. I'm thinking this is gonna take multiple attempts. Uh, we're probably gonna need some learning attempts because this is really the first time I've ever fought the boss. Let's just send it, man. Buffs are in. Deer thing. Here we go. The deer clops. Hello. Oh, very frightening. Oh my god. Yo, this thing's got some clean animations. Oh, oh, it's handing. Oh, it's handing. Oh, it's handing. Okay, luckily, I have the warmth potion on. That was something the wiki stressed. I think it's doing me a lot of favors. I am gonna run out of bones. Also, my voice keeps cracking, because I'm five years old. Dude, I can- wait, he's doing no damage. Can I really just tank this guy? Why am I so beefy? He's not doing damage. You keep pushing me around. I need the cobalt shield, man. Oh my god. Alright, first Deer Clops is dead. I'm so. My voice keeps cracking. I don't know what's happening. But I'm leaving it all in because. <clears throat> well, this is an important moment. So I'm gonna have to just look like a child. I think I'm. I hope I'm not sick. <laughs> I mean, I'm sick. I'm sick as fuck. I didn't get what I wanted. Radio thing allows the user to see the world differently. Whoa. Cool. We've really hit up some form of a power spike apparently in this series. Like a, we were getting dicked on by everything and now we're, we're owning bosses left and right. Mathematically, the pumatic horn is in one of these three bags. It was in the first one, let's go. Allows wireless transfer of injury. I was gonna shoot that penguin in his goddamn face, but I have no bullets. Honestly, not sure if this is long enough. I, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I hope it is. I don't know if I have enough bullets. I don't know if I have enough space. I don't know if I have enough damage. I don't know what I need. We're just gonna jump into it. We're gonna try the wall of flesh and we're just gonna gauge what to do from there, depending on how it goes.
Like, I don't know, man. This thing doesn't pierce, but I still have the bone glove, so it might be enough piercing. I don't know, man. Let's just, let's just send it. Don't overthink it. Let's just do this. I don't remember if the wall keeps summoning these biters. But if I can get through all the bite fellas, uh, the hungry, as they're so rightfully called, I think we're going to be having a good time. Assuming they don't respawn. If they respawn, we're doomed. I feel like more of our damage is making it through. I can't tell if more are spawning or not. But we're not taking too much damage. I think... This might be doable? This might actually be possible? Dare I say it? I, I just hit the end of my bridge. Not enough bridge space. Oh, the contact damage is brutal. Oh, wow. Okay. I made the bridge longer. I think. I think. I think we got this. That's a big I think, though. I, um. I don't know, man. I'm gonna do my darndest. going a lot worse I I don't know if it's there's a little RNG depending on when these things spawn but I can't seem to get my shots right <sighs> I think going from right to left was more effective I don't know why <laughs> I'll tell you that for free I don't know why it would be better but it felt a lot better so I'm just gonna try it and roll with it. Let's do it, no hesitation, we got this. We got this. Get, get this bone bitch away from me. I mean, I knew it was the strat all along, right to left? I mean, it just makes sense if you think about it, because if he's right, if you, when, how come when you, how can you of in the hot food when you out hot eat the food? You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 stop. What are you doing? Freak of nature. Nature freak. Holy shit. He has done it.